Hey friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, my name's Garrett. I'm Melissa. And we are the Leffersons, and today we're coming at you with a Walt Disney World haul. <laughs> if you are behind the times, we have been putting out our vlogs from the last Disney trip that we did, which happened over Christmas. Yeah. So make sure to go check those out. They're doing really well, and I'm gonna do a second to brag on my wife, Alyssa. <laughs> edited those videos and she put so much time and effort into them <laughs> and it's it's so much fun to sit down and see what she does i i just polish yeah. them usually i do like the hard cuts mm -hmm. for our vlogs and then he adds in like the music and the effects and all that and the graphics and i decided to just try it out so i technically did the first two vlogs yeah. of this series she Maybe. and she crushed it. The pacing is great, and so that's all Alyssa. So yeah. give her props down below. So you can go check out our vlogs. I'll put the playlist down below, and if you're watching this after this video, mm -hmm. maybe there's more vlogs out. So the playlist will be down below. If you want to see what Disney is like during the week of Christmas, like the busiest week of the year, then go check those vlogs out. And we should have another one coming out later this week. So yes. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, so you know we're kind of playing with our upload schedule. But yeah. this trip, to Disney was what, nine days? Yeah, like eight nights, nine full days, and we've got a pretty fun haul for you guys today. It's we hard bought not to some buy. things. <laughs> I feel like we didn't go as crazy, no. but I think we it's because we were with things. your fam. Yeah, like we were very much like ride, 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 instead of like walk oh. around, let's shop, like things like that. So it's a little bit more of a fast paced trip. So for but the we still got some things. The first thing we finally got the large bag. Alyssa was yes. like, oh, we have to have this. Well, this is the 50th reusable bag, and the, these are so, so nice. And we actually have the medium and the small from our last trip, so I thought, we need the large. And they're they were iridescent. sold out the last time. Yeah. Yeah, super and so cute. And so these are kind of like the Ikea bags, just like smaller if you, if you know what that means. Yeah. Actually, this one's like pretty big. And in that bag are a plethora of other bags. And in this bag is our first item. Let's just keep saying bag. <laughs> and this item is really exciting and oh. adorable. <laughs> oh no, so here we go. So there is a brand new line at Walt Disney World right now. Mm -hmm. And it features some of our favorite characters from the Hundred Acre Woods, yep. Winnie the Pooh. And it's actually like a baby line. This is not a pregnancy nope, announcement whatsoever. Nope. I am not pregnant, but 2022, we're hoping to maybe yeah. start a family in 2022. So we decided to purchase uh, an item for our hope chest. Our hope <laughs> chest. Uh, here, I'll, I'll hold it while you tour. <laughs> and it's an adorable pillow. They have a whole line of super cute things. We just bought the pillow for now. They also so, had a blanket and yeah, a blanket, like uh, an organizer, an organ like a diaper organizer. And almost. they added some more things. They got some more things after we left. So I don't know. Alyssa, maybe eventually we'll buy more. Al Alyssa saw this and she was like, "Should we get it?" And I said, "Honey, if we see it again, <laughs> it's meant to be." And we walked. And then in. I saw it like five more places. <laughs> we walked into Pop Century and there was a huge shelf of them and she's like, it's fate, we're buying it. Anyways, it's a rainbow with Winnie the Pooh in the middle and Piglet and they're holding hands and adorable. And then on the back is Winnie the Pooh and it says a snuggly sort of day, Winnie the Pooh. And it's all embroidered and super duper nice. And uh, we have chosen to not learn the gender of our child before they're born. <laughs> we don't even know, if we don't, we're not even pregnant yet. No, but, no. but we like that it was neutral yeah. and this color palette is super soothing and uh, It'll be cute. It's gonna be cute. On, I'm definitely gonna have a glider. I will <laughs> not settle. I will have a glider in my baby's room. So there's that. <laughs> That's the first item. No baby yet, but it's in the plan. <laughs> but we also got some other stuff and I honestly forget what we, oh, this is yours. <laughs> this is mine. I actually bought, <laughs> I actually bought a children's shirt. <laughs> if you don't, if you didn't, if this is your first time with us, Alyssa's like five foot flat. I'm six yeah. foot like two. I'm pretty short, so I can still kind of fit into an extra large children's size. And I just saw this shirt and thought it was so cute. Sorry, it's wrinkly. It's been sitting in the bag for a while, but it says Walt Disney World. You've got the beautiful castle and Minnie Mouse here. I just thought it was a super cute shirt. I don't know. I think it's maybe I've, a little childish too but it's fine it was adorable i think you can be a, i think you can be a child at heart in disney world so it's okay yeah i think i ended up wearing it to the parks anyways yeah. and the kid shirts are a little bit cheaper than the adult shirts so like why not 
If you can, you can. <laughs> so if you've been around for a minute, you know I love my button ups to go to the parks and you know that I love this button up. This is from the vault, right? Or yeah, the 50th? The 50th vault for the 50th anniversary. But this it, is a Ray Spooner, right? Yes, this is a Ray Spooner and I, I love this shirt. I, I'll stop talking about it. But uh, they had another Ray Spooner shirt and it's another 50th anniversary shirt. So this shirt that I got is focused on like the beacons of magic. So it has this, that blue color, but also it has all of the different beacons. You have Cinderella's castle, the Hollywood tower, uh, is Spaceship Earth on there? Yeah. yeah, duh, it's the great big ball right there. <laughs> and it has uh, the Tree of Life. Where is it? It's upside down right there. But this is another Ray Spooner. It's a different uh, kind than this. Yeah, like a different material. Yes, this is- A little bit of a lighter material. Yes, they have, this is their like a blend of cotton and something else. And this is their full on synthetic. And I'm interested to kind of put it into action and see how it goes. But- uh, Did you wear it at the parks? I, I don't you... know. I don't think so. Are you sure? Yeah. I thought you did one of the last few maybe days, I but did. maybe I'm losing my mind. It's all a blur. Now, <laughs> this is a different style for me because the the buttons don't go all the way up. They kind of it kind of has a wider open collar, so That's how he rocks it though in Florida, especially when we go in the summer months, which I, I think, we always go in the summer months, so I think I did wear it because the tag is missing. Uh, yeah, so but, you definitely wore it. But if you didn't know, button ups are the way to go. They are cooler than t-shirts. There you go. <laughs> and I got something that's the complete opposite of cool. <laughs> this is the last clothing item. Okay. And I only saw this sweatshirt. It's a sweatshirt. I only saw this at one location. I only saw this at the creation shop in Epcot only time. I saw it like the first time we went to Epcot and then I saw it the last day and I decided the last day to buy it because I and really, you, really like it. And now it's probably everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's anywhere else, but sorry, again, it's wrinkly. It's just this really cute retro kind of Walt Disney World, but I love the different blues. Everyone always says I look good in blue because I have blue eyes. So I love like the like kind of, not like, is it like ombre? <laughs> you could say that, yeah. Kind of, how it like, changes into different colors. I just think it's super cute and it's cozy and we live in Chicago. And it's sparkly. So obviously I'm going to be wearing, you know, the warm things because oh, it's still cold here. It's been hecka cold lately, so. <laughs> it's been so cold. This is cute, I'm, I'm in for it. Yeah, I'm here for it too. So that's it for clothing, right? It for clothing, yes. Okay. We have one little, I guess you could say Christmas item, but more so for the oh. 50th. I don't wanna, know if I ever looked at this. You wanna open it and make sure it's alive? Is it okay? Is it intact? Yeah, it's all there. Yay! This was like a fragile item and they wrapped it very, very nicely. So way to go, Disney. So this is the 50th anniversary ornament. And where is there a front to it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is the front of it and you can see Mickey and Minnie in there. And back behind them are all of the beacons of magic, all the park icons. Yeah. And then it goes all the way out to these uh, glass ears. And yes, we were really unsure if it was gonna make it all the way home. Uh, but even the glass kind of has an iridescent. Uh, it does. It, lo it looks like bubbles, like when you blow bubbles. Yeah, and it's kind of hard to tell, but there's like a lot of details on the glass. Like this says 50 here in this ear. It says Walt Disney World in this ear. <laughs> all you can see are our filming lights. <laughs> and then there's like all sorts of like, there's a little orange bird right there. And then on the front, I don't know, did you see this Garrett? At the bottom it oh, says yeah. the most magical celebration or the world's most magical celebration. So cute, right? Yay. Yeah. And this, that will go on our tree next Christmas. And it made it safely all the way here. Yes, yeah, so winning. The next two items um, were just kind of spur of the moment ones. The first one is, I just, I saw this and I wanted it. And it says we are so we are cleared for takeoff from Soren because that's what they say. And then you go, Whoosh, and I think we had just gotten off of Soren. And I was we just, literally did. I was just vibing. I'm like, babe, I need a new luggage tag you for my check. You do need a new luggage tag. <laughs> So I really like this one, it stands out. I saw it as soon as it came through the line and it has a little card on the back uh, with where you can put your info and uh, there it is. Now this next item was a surprise even to me because <laughs> I didn't know it was bought and I'm not mad about it. And it is a soap dispenser. But Alyssa, what's special about this soap dispenser? So this is a foam soap dispenser. And when you like press it down to put soap in your hand, it literally makes the shape of a Mickey in your hand. How magical is that? So I thought, okay, A, I know that this is like 
very in right now. Everyone's buying this. It was in stock. I decided to take advantage. And we always like, we always love getting like the Bath and Body Works soaps too, oh, the yeah. foam ones. So I figure like when we're done with this, we can just keep refilling it with even like the Bath and Body Works soap. And eventually I really want like a Disney themed bathroom. So what better like place to put this than a Disney themed bathroom? I wonder what else this uh, this pump fits on. But I, I guess you, you have to have it inside of this because this- Right, like we can just like dump the liquid in. That's yeah. what I was saying. We'll see what's up. I don't know, but I, I've been wanting to use this just to see if it works. We'll have so. to use it. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram at the Leffersons if you want to see us use this soap. Yes, we'll open it up. Because that's content, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. Some of our last few items before pins. Because, we are big pin collectors. Because you know we did the pins. We did the pins. We have some reusable mugs. Now, this is a barely really big tip if you are staying at a disney resort mm -hmm. and if you're staying for like even like longer than probably what five six i think days, we said i think we said at about five days if this makes it, it worth it, it starts to make it worth it so this mug is a refillable mug that you can only refill at the resort location so any quick service location at the resorts you can get this mug it's twenty dollars and you get unlimited refills for your entire stay and it's at any resort yeah because Alyssa would fill this up take it on the bus and say that we walked through another resort she'd be like i want some diet coke and yes. so she'd pop into their quick serve and woof, and it worked just fine or like you can use it on coffee in the mornings they have like juices mm -hmm. and all sorts of things so twenty dollars i will say like if you like to drink pop or even if you like coffee in the mornings if a diet coke is four dollars and like 50 cents right now mm -hmm. This is $20 for unlimited refills. <laughs> and if you're from somewhere besides Chicagoland, pop is soda yes, to soda. like everywhere else in the world. We live in Chicago. We say pop here. It's fine. <laughs> but these are super cute. This one has like a blue lid and it is for the 50th anniversary. So you have like Mickey and Minnie and the Grand Flow. You've got Contemporary and Polly all like the parks in the back. It's super duper cute. I actually refill these for, I like you re reuse them for coffee when mm -hmm. we get home. And they re did a recent redesign on the lid. I know this is super stupid, <laughs> but I'm paying how much, 20 bucks? 20 bucks. I'm paying 20 bucks for a ding dong cup. I want the lid to be good. And they redesigned it and it just, it's, it's, it's a really nice It lid. flows so nice. Yes. And it actually, it seals it really well. I yeah. think Alyssa knocked it over at least once. Yes. And it didn't spill too much. Yes, exactly. So if you're going, quick tip, buy it. So Alyssa, every time she goes in the park, just says we have to grab some guide maps. So <laughs> we have a literal pound and a half <laughs> of guide maps to Epcot. And I think the only one we didn't get is we didn't get Magic, Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Like, why did I forget Magic Kingdom? I, yeah, we have everything. It's, it's, it's okay. not like we won't be back. I mean, but. this thing's like a, it's it's a weapon. <laughs> so uh, here yeah. we are. She would just be like, grab some. So I, I... They're very nice to put in like magic mail mm -hmm. or like pin trades. And also like, they're just nice to have. And for the 50th anniversary, we're moving on to pins. Just one bag? No, there's three bags. There's three bags of pins. Three? Three. Yeah, three bags. There's, they're not totally full though. They're not totally full. <laughs> I like so. how you start to explain it away. It's fine, it's right? It's fine. Should we start with the blind boxes? Sure. Okay, so there's two blind boxes in here and these we've actually never opened before. These we will open in a separate pin unboxing, which I'm sure you guys have been wondering where all of our pin unboxings are because oh, yeah. I don't think we've done a pin unboxing in a really long time. Where are they? We have pins to open. <laughs> it's just like finding the time to do it. We should do a mystery pin unboxing live. We should do one live. Comment down below if you're interested in that. But these are some new boxes that we haven't opened before. They're part of the Tiny Kingdom, which means these are really, really teeny tiny pins. And you actually get, there's 24 in the collection, and you get three in a box. Three? Yes, yeah, so you get three, but they're oh. like tiny, tiny. So they're really cute. I think there's like a bunch of different park icons and all sorts of stuff on here. This is series four. We've literally haven't opened series nope. one, two, or three, but. We figured let's get two boxes to open at some point in the near future. And then another set of mystery boxes that we got is Disney 
feathered friends. It has a bunch of different birds from all of the Disney series. You have Kevin and Donald's in there. You have, uh, what's the seat? Scuttle, that's his name. You have, you have Hey Flick. Hey. Hey Hey. Yeah. Um, and then who else? I thought I saw Iago's up there, Zazu. So uh, these are two pins per box and there's 12 in this collection. We got two random pin boxes and actually we have a few more of these that we need mm -hmm. to open. It's part of the BU collection. And actually someone commented and was like, I'm so excited for you guys to open the BU stuff because they're so good. And so Alyssa was like, someone said that they must be good. Let's buy another box. Yeah, so we just got one more box in case if we didn't get the ones that we wanted in the other boxes that we bought. And then I just got one box of these. This is part of the Lunar New Year mm -hmm. series for this year. And I really just bought this because there's a Chip and Dale pin in here. <laughs> So, hoping for Chip and Dale, but you'll have to see in a pin unboxing. There's two mystery pins in this one as and well. If not, you can hopefully trade it yes. for someone who needs to complete the collection. Exactly. And then the last set of mystery boxes are the Beauty and the Beast Windows of Love. This is a two, four, six, eight, nine pin collection, and it's there in the style of stained glass. So you have different scenes from the movie, and uh, we just hadn't seen these yet, and no, we were I like, think let's we were try like, these out. I think we were one of the first people to discover these pin boxes, because like Disney Pins Blog hadn't even posted about them yet, and we know. just randomly saw them. I have seen pictures of them now, and they are beautiful, so I'm very excited to open those boxes. Should we open them or no? <laughs> no, okay. we'll wait, because okay. we're already at like 20 minutes here, All so right. we'll wait a little bit. Okay. But we also bought some other pins, just actually actual, maybe limited edition pins. Most of these, probably all of these are limited edition. Yeah. We don't typically buy open edition pins anymore. Unless it's like a newer open edition that yeah. like, I, that just really strikes our fancy. Okay, so I'll do this one. So they actually at Epcot had the heroes versus villains mm -hmm. pins that were left over from the pin event. Mm -hmm. And there were so many of them. So we basically decided to get a few of our favorite characters, obviously. I don't know the limited edition of all these. I'll have to let you know after, but this one is of Princess Tiana and Prince Naveen. It's so cool. And it has a turning element. It's so a let me, it is a spinner. Let me take it off the backer card so I can show you guys. And let's see what limited edition. Oh, this is an Ellie of 1000. I wasn't expecting small. that. So this is what the front looks like. And then if you turn it over, you have Dr. Facilier. So I think this scene is when he's casting the spell on Prince Naveen. I'm not totally sure, but this is just a super duper cool pin. Ellie of 1000 and it is a double pin back as well. The next one is from the Marvel series, and I, I just had to get this because I halfway agree with Thanos, okay? But- I feel like you love anything with like Thanos's- um, The gauntlet. Yeah, the gauntlet. Th Th Thanos makes sense, okay? I could, I, could, I could go on for a while about it. But it is a picture of the gauntlet, and the text of it says, the hardest choices require the strongest wills. Where do your loyalties lie? Will you answer the call? Good, evil, question mark. And I feel like that is Thanos in a nutshell. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> I, it, yeah. And so All the things. this is a limited edition of 2000. All right. And I, I just love the art on it and just pops and it takes you a second to figure it out. I just love that art so much. I think I need more Thanos stuff. <laughs> I'm surprised our Marvel collection is as small as it is because It'll get there. It'll, just, it'll just give, get there. Just give me some time. I'm, I've been, I had to teach you about it first. True. So the last one is from Big Hero 6, which you knew, and it is the man with the Kabuki mask. So there you have the Kabuki mask man with Baymax in his armor back there. And oh, this yeah. is cool because it has a dark metal back and it's a good size pin What's too. What's the Ellie of that one? This is Ellie of 750, what? so I'm not mad. Wow, that's cool. And it has Big Hero 6 up there in the corner ah. and then the Hero and Villains series. This is a really nice pin. I'm okay with it. Yay! If you're new here, Baymax is like one of Garrett's all-time favorite yeah. Disney characters. Yeah. So we have 
quite a large pin collection for Baymax. That's gonna be really fun to put add to it. Yay! Since we were there for Christmas time, we obviously had to pick up a few Christmas pins, right? So this one was their Christmas Day pin, which we do collect some Beauty and the Beast. And this one says Christmas Day on there. And you have Belle and the Beast and like all the other characters as like their human form, which is really fun. Cause you don't really, I feel like there's not a lot of pins with like Mrs. Potts and Chip like, yeah. as what they look like as humans. And that's how the Christmas yeah. movie starts with her telling the story in right. their human form. Right. And oh, I'm not going to take this off the backer card cause this is a limited release. So not a limited edition pin, limited release. So we got also the Christmas pin from the Contemporary and the Polynesian. And we were going to get the Grand Floridian too because we kind of did like a little resort hop and we went yeah. to go see all the Christmas decorations at all the different resorts. So this one is from the Polynesian. And if you can guess just by the front of it, you have Moana's boat and uh, the heart of Te Fiti along with uh, Maui. Maui's. Maui. Maui's hook. Yep. But it, Slides open and there's Pua! <laughs> He's so cute! It is so Aww. cute. And these are limited edition of, I'm gonna say like 25, 3000. 3000, okay. Yeah, so it's a hinged pin. It's a little Christmas tree. It's super adorbs. And then we were able to find the gingerbread collection with the Contemporary Resort. I didn't see it for the Grand Floridian. Man or Polynesians, I'm assuming they sold out, but we did decide to grab the contemporary one. These are like pretty big pins. They are. Double pin backs. So it says Disney's Contemporary Resort on the front. It's supposed to kind of look like a postcard. The postcards, the little stamp has oh, a hidden Mickey. Mickey. And then when you open it up, it is a gingerbread house of the contemporary with Cinderella there. And what does it say? Oh, make it merry and bright. I like the little gumdrops yes, on the trail. Yes, I love like the bright colors. This is such a cute pin. Also a very large pin and it's limited edition. Ooh. Let's see Ooh. what the edition size is. This is Ellie of 4,000. So pretty, pretty big, decent. pretty de decent size, yes. Next is from the Artfully Evil collection, and I think I got one other thing from this before, yeah. and it is from one of my favorite movies, but it is Frollo, and I feel like this perfectly depicts Frollo. That's why I got it, is because he is dark, he is evil, and He's the this worst. embodies <laughs> him so well. There's no bright colors. It's it's dark, it's creepy. Scary. I love it. <laughs> because it's because it's the character in a pin. And these are limited edition. This is a limited edition of 3000 and it kind of has that brush metal look to it. It is a wonderful I, I was going to call it a piece because it, it <laughs> uh, to me it's a it's literally a, a little piece of art. It's so cool. This is like are you sure you want that? I'm like, "Yes, it's so really? Evil. Yeah. And then the last pin, the very last This is the last item? Yes, is from the Beauty and the Peace Celebrating 30 Years collection. That's Since insane. it's their 30 years. I know, that's crazy. Wow. We decided to just get one pin and we picked one that actually Garrett picked it yes. out for a specific reason. You might be able to tell why if you've been watching our channel. It's my favorite scene of the book, <laughs> movie. And it's Provincial Belle. Yes. She's reading a book. And she's reading it to the sheep. Yes, and Garrett loves to read. He loves that Belle loves to read and that's why Belle is one of our favorite Disney princesses. And she's in Provincial dress. I love yep. seeing Provincial Belle in Epcot. We got to see her last Last time. I know, so Ugh. fun. So I think this is limited edition too. Let's see. Limited edition of 4,000. Mm -hmm. That's pretty big. But it does say like Beauty and the Beast 30th anniversary on the back. Very and I like, the, I like the sparkle. Yeah. There's a, her book is sparkly. Sparkle, sparkle. Oh, and the border is sparkly mm -hmm. too. Fun. I, I picked it out. I, I picked out good pins. <laughs> so that's it. That's, that's it. for our haul. But if you want to catch up on our adventures in the Disney World over Christmas break, make sure that you are subscribed to our channel, that you are hitting that bell so you get the little notification. Yeah. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. That yes. helps us out so, so much. Mm -hmm. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite item that we opened was. Or let us know if you want us to do a pin unboxing, yeah. what pins should we open 
first. Or if we should do it live. <laughs> or if we should do would it live. Would you guys live. want to hang out like a Friday night and we just open pins? <laughs> that would be pretty fun. Yeah. That would be pretty Grab fun. a beverage, put some music on. I like that. Well, with us. Like and we just idea. hang out and open pins. Yeah, I like that idea. Would you be down? We might. We Let might us do know. that. <laughs> give, give us a thumbs up if you want that. <laughs> and subscribe for more Disney content. I already of course. said that a little. Well, I feel like I just have to say it because, you know, it's like part of the ending, whatever we say at the end. Yeah, good point. The <laughs> spiel. <laughs> the spiel. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you real soon. Bye, guys. See you later.